Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Trey back with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up macros with the Razer software. But yeah, before this video starts, if you guys do go on and enjoy the video, go ahead and drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe to my channel. Uh, before I do anything, I just want to say this is for educational purposes only. You can get banned for using these, so the only way I recommend using these is if you're just trying to show off to your friends. I do not recommend using them in game because it does affect the game for everybody else. It makes it not fair, so. I don't recommend using these in game, but if you do, it's at your own risk. I don't take any responsibility if you guys get banned for this, but uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. So if you guys have a Razer mouse or a Razer keyboard, this video will be perfect for you. If you do not, if you have another software um, like Logitech or something, then uh, just look up macros for Logitech. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of videos on those. If you don't have a software for your keyboard and mouse, there is videos that show you how to download a software and set up macros. But uh, this video, I'm showing everybody how to use um, it for the Razer software. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So the first thing you wanna do is open up your Razer software. It'll look something like this. Uh, you wanna click on Synapse in the top left. And then uh, you want to click on macro. If you do not see macro, you want to click on modules, and it'll you'll see it like right here. And you just want to click add. You have to restart your Razer software and stuff. But after that, you'll see it in the dashboard. So you want to go ahead and click on macro. And then uh, here's the one I have set up right now. But uh, what you want to do is you'll see the plus sign under macro list. You want to click that. You can rename it. I'll just rename it as test for this. And then uh, you'll see this right here. First thing you want to do is click on insert and then keystroke and then you want to click keystroke down here and set it as your edit mine so mine is f so i'll just click f and it'll set two of them you want to make sure there is two of them and then you want to put the delay at 0 0.02 seconds and you want to do that for both of them so yeah that's it for that part and then you want to click insert again and click mouse button and then you want to make sure it's set at left click so uh yeah and then it'll pop up to them as well and then you want to change it to 0 0.02 for these as well just like this and that's pretty much it for that part and then after you're done with this this is pretty much the whole macro what you want to do is bind it to one of your keys so like i said if you have a mouse then it'll pop up your device right here if you have a keyboard you want to click your keyboard um i just have a razor mouse so i'm gonna click on that and then uh, you just want to bind it to one of your keys. I'm going to bind it to this one right here, which I already have it binded, but I'll just rebind it. So I'm going to click this right here. And then you want to make sure your playback option is set as play while sign key is pressed. If you have a keyboard, just bind it to one of your keys that you don't use. And uh, yes, yeah, so you want to make sure this is set at play while sign key is pressed. And then you want to click save. And pretty much that is it for the macro. Um, what you do is you can place one and you just want to hold down the key and uh, pretty much it'll just do the macro for you. Um, like I said, I don't recommend you guys do this because it can get you banned, but it is pretty fun to mess around with. Um, my ping's really high right now because I'm recording. But uh, yeah, if you, did good, if you did go on and enjoy this video, go ahead and drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.